Hey, what's up, guys? I think I'm getting sick. Uh... But yeah, if you're just tuning in and you don't know who I am, I'm Matt Green. For everybody else, welcome back. I have a pimple on my chin and I hate it. I think I got a fart. Wait. Oh, uh, yeah. There it is. Oh, that one's spicy. So I haven't made one of these videos in maybe like a month. I mean, not that I was trying to not make, you know, one of these videos. I've just been, I've been real all over the place, you know? There's been a whole lot of uh, ups and downs over the past month. So I woke, I woke up a bunch of times last night actually sneezing. And I mean like, my sneezes woke me up. Like I was asleep and then I sneezed and this sneeze woke me up. Does that ever happen to you? For me, like, that's how I know I'm getting sick. Like, usually sneezes for me are, are associated with my allergies, but uh, if I start, you know, get the, the sneeze wake up, the sneezing alarm clock, if you will, that's, uh, that's how I know I'm getting sick. <coughs> I mean, you can hear it in my voice. Like, this doesn't sound sexy. Or maybe it does. Maybe it sounds real sexy. <laughs> All right, so what do we talk about in these videos? Right, health progress. So let's talk about that. So all through January, my progress was great. I was eating all the healthy foods. I was having like a cheat meal here and there. I uh, wasn't drinking any alcohol. I was going to the gym all the time. I was making videos all the time. And it was going great. And then I started to get scheduled a lot more at work. <clears throat> and my work schedule um, kind of conflicted with everything else that I was trying to do in my life. I've talked about this before, I have a lot of trouble sleeping, and I was getting a lot of morning and day shifts, and when you don't sleep, uh, it's hard to work your job, your regular job, you know, on, on no sleep in the morning. So that started happening for a few weeks, and I was still trying to stay on top of the eating, and the gym, and the video making, and just straight up, I burnt out, like I burnt out real bad. I remember one day uh, my work schedule came out and I just sat at my computer desk and I cried. And that's not a good feeling, you know? Like, uh, stress doesn't sit well with me. I've, uh, I have a big problem with stress. I have for a really long time. And then, you know, unfortunately one day I had like a um, fucking meltdown at work. And that was great. And I don't know if you're like me, but when I get to that point, uh, you know, the little voice in my head starts to say things like, Man, fuck this. Fuck life. Fuck everything. We're drinking. We're drink. Well, that's what we're doing today. Fuck all your progress and everything you've been working so hard for. We're just getting shit-faced. And, uh, yeah. That, that's how it went down. Alcohol is like my Achilles heel. It's like the one thing that holds me back from doing productive things. But I mean, I guess sometimes I just, I do so much that my body's just like, hey, can't, we can't be doing all this shit all the time. And that's usually when my, uh, when my emotions take over and they make bad decisions for me. So that's cool. All right, is everybody like good and uncomfortable now? Yeah? Sweet. All right, so even though I've been eating some shitty stuff, and I've had a few nights with, you know, a few beers. Um, I'm still holding strong at 175. Like, I've plateaued, but I'm, I'm staying at 175. And I am still going to the gym. Before every workout, I do 30 minutes on the elliptical at, like, a high resistance. Right now, I'm at, like, a resistance of 15. I don't know if that means anything to you. If you use the same kind of elliptical that I do, maybe it does. Who knows? And then I'll do my muscle training. Body shape-wise, everything is still going you know, into the right place. We're just sort of at a standstill right now. But I mean, I think we all go through periods where we work really hard and then we kind of fall off our routine. And uh, and that's okay. That happens to it. That happens to everybody. But what I've been trying to actively change is that every time I fall off, I try to make it less and less each time. You know what I mean? Like if you're doing really well with your eating and your whatever, and then you say you skip the gym for like two weeks. That sucks. But then you get back at it and you know, your goal strong again. Maybe next time you fall off, you only miss the gym for a week. And then the next time after that, maybe it's only a few days. And I have been finding that trying to make a conscious effort to not let this 
shitty period last as long and have them last a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, and a little bit shorter every time is actually working. And even though I'm getting sick, I, you know, I went to the gym yesterday. Well, I wasn't getting sick yesterday. So I went to the gym yesterday and I uh, feel good. The workout felt real good. It sucks though that I woke up in the middle of the night feeling sick. But I was happy that this morning I woke up at like uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. That's the time I got up. I forced myself last night to go to bed relatively early. Got in my bed with my covers and I watched. And I watched Shrek on Netflix, and then I went to sleep. Before today, my sleep schedule was fucked. You know, you ever have those nights where you're like up until like 9 a.m. playing Minecraft? Because you've never played Minecraft before and didn't realize how addictive it was. And then you realize, holy shit, it's 9 a.m., I better go to bed. And then you sleep until 4 o'clock? Yeah, that's... That's been my last, like, week. So we're back on it today. Back on the waking up early and doing all the healthy things. Well, I've been rambling for enough, I think. I think that's enough for today. Again, if you don't know, my name is Matt Green. Subscribe to my channel and stay healthy.